It's a beautiful summer day, and the corn is almost as high as an elephant's eye. It might look a peaceful scene, but feels like this are at the heart of a raging debate. Should we use crops like this for food, or turn them into green energy? At this farm on the south coast, they're aiming to achieve both. As they've expanded to become the biggest supplier of sweet corn in the UK, they're using emerging technologies to deal with the waste from the crop. We eat 75 million of these every year. If you consider that a quarter of this is discarded as waste before it even gets to the shop, that's an awful lot of spare roughage. The sweet corn comes in from the field with the husk intact. It's the protective packaging, essentially. And we remove that husk because the consumer doesn't want it all in their kitchen. So what did you do with it before? We used to send it to farmers to feed to beef cattle. Now we put it into an anaerobic digester, which is essentially a huge cow's stomach. And we feed the digester, much as you would feed a cow, with green waste. And the product is then digested uh, within the tanks, within the stomach, to produce, rather than milk or meat, to produce biogas. And biogas is a combination of carbon dioxide and methane. So that's one enormous fart in there. That's exactly what we want it to do. <laughs> We produce uh, about 2.3 megawatts every hour, 24 hours a day. We use the first part of that through our factories, so we're wholly self-sufficient in energy for our factories, and we export the balance to the grid. So by eating up almost 30,000 tonnes of waste a year, the digesters are well on their way to earning back the setup costs of four and a half million pounds. Digesters which turn waste into energy are obviously a great idea if you've got lots of waste. But what if some of our farmland is being used to grow crops to feed these beasts rather than us? If farmers are offered subsidies by the government to produce biofuels, is there the risk of diverting too much farmland to energy production? Dr Ian Shield is a bioenergy research scientist. I think there are certain, not all, but certain uh, renewable energy subsidies which are encouraging a reasonably large scale planting of crops which are 100% harvested to go through an energy uh, system. So it's not the waste product of, a, of another uh, crop or food crop. Personally, do you think it's a problem going forward? There are situations where energy crops can be grown where actually the alternatives are very few anyway. But if you're using good arable land to produce digestible crops, that is taking away food production. Certainly there is a future for bioenergy in this country coming off our farmland. It just needs to be targeted carefully. Here at Barfoot's, the farmers are working to use cutting edge technology to help maximise their land use for both food and energy production. So Nathan, how technical a business is it growing sweet corn these days? Increasingly more so. When we're drilling the crop back in the spring, the tractors are guided by GPS satellite signals. It can tell him the contours of the field, it can tell him how deep his tool is, it certainly will tell him how straight he's driving. So it all adds to that bigger growing picture to help produce a healthy crop. What about knowing when it's time to harvest? Thankfully, there's still a need for us. Oh, really? So we come along, look at a piece of sweet corn. You've got to look for the brown silk but importantly, there's a feel. You can feel the grain at the end of the husk, and there we are. So, nice, bright, yellow, just what we want. And if we're able to, you can see we it just passes muster. Absolutely. Blimey, that's sweet. That technology has worked to a benefit. Thank you. A perfectly ripe corn on the cob, grown here in a cycle whereby the waste from this year's crop goes to feed next year's. But with a growing population making increasing demands on this green and pleasant land, we have to be absolutely clear that what we're planting in these fields will provide enough food for future generations. <laughs>